You probably know the game Snake. Well, I thought it would be fun if I made it in first person instead. Let's see what happens. I always find it hard to work on a project that doesn't look good, so the first thing I did was focus on graphics. I threw in a skybox, some ground, some post-processing, bean, and it looked great. Now there was just one problem. There was nothing for bean to do. Now we had some bean and some buildings. Throw in some Okay. And you have yourself a game. Except for one problem. There's no snake, and this isn't a game. I decided on a better player movement, which was where the player was stuck on a 2D plane and constantly moved in the direction of the camera. The next thing was adding the segments to the back, and that got a little silly. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. I tried to make the segments using the hinge joints in Unity's physics system, but it clearly didn't like me, so I made everything by hand using code. A few bugs later, I had everything working smoothly. Now, Snake wouldn't be much of a game if you couldn't get any points. For those of you who have never played Snake, you get points by eating the food that is randomly placed around. Now the catch is, that when you eat food, your snake grows longer. This is dangerous because touching your own tail kills you. I spawned some little red cubes around the map and made them extra tasty just for you. I was getting a little bit bored looking at the force field with nothing around it, so I spruced up the environment with some buildings. The game was pretty close to done, so I got to adding the score counter and UI. I also changed the controls to use the arrow keys instead of the mouse. I was still unhappy with how things were looking, and I wanted something fresh, so I went with a neon look, and it was actually pretty cool. I kept tweaking and adjusting things, and it slowly started to look worse and worse. I put things back to normal, and added in some trees along the buildings, which made it a little bit more interesting. I was happy enough with the visuals, so I added in some sound effects and some music from the Streambeats library. Streambeats is a library of copyright and royalty free music that you can use for pretty much anything, and they have some really good music in a bunch of genres, so go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Everything was looking good, but I still had one more problem. It was boring. I played around with some values and decided on the player growing much faster, but starting out smaller. And I finally had a fairly fun game. I added a main menu and tweaked some more things, and the game was finally done. Once again, I'll leave a link to the itch.io page in the description. Go play it and let me know what your high score is in the comments. My high score is 21, let me know if you can beat it. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.